So what do you think of stockbrokers? I think they're absolute wankers. I think that I'm sure there's some lovely stockbrokers, but I think that they um, certainly have a reputation for not being the best people. I, I think they're overpaid, they don't produce anything at all. The only thing that's important to them is greed. There's no other value system that they operate on. I understand what they do, but I haven't spoken to one on a one-to-one -one basis. The city, a place full of obnoxious, annoying, rich, awful human beings. People who really don't care about humanity. That's the impression we all have of the city, and in particular one group of people, stockbrokers. But is that really the case? Are they really like that? We're about to find out really what stockbrokers are about. The people, the job, and what they think of us. Have they been seen as pompous gits? Yes. Why? Because a lot of them are. I'm going to take issue with you. I think that it has changed over the years. I think you might have thought that in the past. The stock exchanges around the world are uh, very open. They're right at the heart of uh, the economy, right at the heart of creating jobs. I think the thing is, most people, A, don't understand what a stockbroker does, but B, what they do know of it is the flaming Ferraris, the cocktails, the strippers, the whole thing. Now, you've been in the city a long time. And I haven't had any of those so far. <laughs> I'm still waiting. Would you say that it has moved on? Or would you be realistic and say, well, that is part of what the job is? When you're a young man or a young woman that you come into this industry, that's what is one of the drivers. We, we have to take a longer view. Because you go back pre-Big Bang, this was an old club, a, a cartel, uh, run by men, for men, women only allowed in in the last few years. Um, and that cartel changed a Big Bang, it allowed in external capital. That was good news. It brought in then more competition. And instead of actually just a matter of where you came from or what class you were in apparently in society, it now was based on actually how successful you were and a meritocracy. And of course, that goes too far the other way. So you then get traders who are being war are rewarded for success, outlandish success with outlandish rewards, and it goes too far that way. It's now swung back. And we're probably somewhere in the middle now. And the answer is both extremes are wrong. What the investment and stockbroking world needs to tell people is they are a very important part of society, a vital part of the economy in terms of raising capital and feeding that into the economy, being able to take people's investments and grow it over time back to society. What was it like in those early days of, the, of, of your career? It was a relatively quiet, well-ordered life where the morning meeting happened at nine in the morning and by five, 5.15 we were out of the door and there was time to have an hour off at lunchtime. So that was fine. British Telecom came along, which was really at the vanguard of the privatisation tidal wave, and it changed everything. It, the advertising campaign got people investing. Uh, volumes went up hugely. And it never really stopped after that, and we b bumped into Big Bang a couple of years later, uh, and that was another change in the way in which we did business. And it meant that the day extended, it became more international uh, and uh, much more like the markets that we know today. So before I joined, um, I definitely thought that the culture here might be a bit more closed um, than when I have uh, arrived. And you come here and it's a very open culture. It's a hugely international uh, uh, environment. Can I just push you on that point? Because you said, I didn't think it would be as open. So you work for the government, you work for the Prime Minister, you work with the Treasury, and yet you, that close to this in, in institution, didn't think they were open. That's, that's a, a fair point, and I, uh, I'm glad that uh, coming here, I've um, seen just how open uh, the culture is here, and just how open we are to people from all over the world to come and uh, take advantage of everything that London has to offer. And it really is incredible when you, uh, uh, when you work here, that we have dignitaries from China, from India, from North America, from um, Europe, coming here uh, to raise capital, to give speeches, um, to uh, make their mark. Uh, and that is something which we can be very proud of.